Jan, I got traffic, helicopter Juliet Victor Whiskey R22, Northern Apron for an air transit to the central pad, Jan, I got traffic. Uh, good morning, John. I've got towers uh, now open and uh, reclassified class data airspace. Opening information Alpha. Runway 06 is the duty runway is cheaper. Duty runway 03, caution wake turbulence. Over check good. All good. Degrees at one, two knots, so the maximum crossing of 1 2 knots. Good right. cab OK, the QNH 1019er. Uh, so flown traffic in the zone is helicopter, Jill Victor Whiskey, uh, air transiting from the northern apron to the uh, central pads. There's uh, no other known airborne traffic. Any airborne traffic contact now, your position, type and intentions. Hey, good morning, Jennifer Tower, helicopter, Jill Victor Whiskey. I received Alpha and uh, we're central pad for Armadale departure. Jill Victor Whiskey, Roger, a uh, departure off the central pad to uh, direct Armadale. This ring is available advice. Uh, yeah, Roger, we'll take uh, Armadale departure, central pad. Trimming to whiskey, uh, Roger, central pad, clear for takeoff, where are we going to make your left turn? Uh, yeah. uh, we're, we're clear for takeoff. Right left turn. Yeah, we'll turn around. Yep. Yeah, we'll take off in the 06 direction. Yep. And clear for takeoff, central pad, and we're ready to make right turn, Armadale departure. Alright, here I go. Yep, all good. I think the car might have come up when I. Uh, it didn't come up. I'll just give it us a little bit there. Yep. That was quick. Yeah, it's, um, it's nice when it's quiet. So do you sort of you understand what just happened there? We air transited, but then the uh, tower opened up as we were flying. Yeah. So then he, we had to ask for permission as normal once we were on the pad. Yep. So he he acknowledged us. Yep. As a known station at the airport. Yep. Um, so we just come back on and uh, just acknowledge we're in receipt of Alpha. Yep. And let him know our intentions. Yep. And he did that, so it's all good, it's quiet, you just give us a direct out time and Alright. Strength level 85 knots. That landing by the way, the approach to the central pad is an example of what not to do. <laughs> if it can find errors, because I like I fell way short of where I wanted to be. Yeah. So don't do that. With your air transit as well, just remember. Yep. Um so we want around 45, 50 knots. And yep. then 100 feet AGL. Yeah, I've I've done an air transit all of one time before, yeah. so that's all good. So the bi so this is Byford here. Yep. And our spot is so the little old runway is just up on top of the hill here. Yep. So if you want to aim for the top of that hill and um, start thinking about what you need to do um, to set yourself. Well, up. well, we're gonna do that power check, so we can see if we can get our 24 absolute maximum was 24. Point Five, and right after him hasn't decayed, so we're good. Yep, all good. So I'm uh, And then I guess we can do it while we're here. Got a bit of space. Slow down. I would. I personally would probably just wait just a little bit more. Okay. So the spots on top of that hill, and just sort of judge your distance. I don't see it where. Ah, uh, just keep flying straight. You'll see it soon. So you can sort of start to see the. There's a bit of an opening starting to appear there. Yep. So that's it. So right about here, I'd probably start slowing down. Yep. And this will sort of set you up. So this um, rock, top right of that? No, nah, just keep further out just a bit there. Still don't see it. Yeah, just keep going straight. Yeah, I'm descending as well. So hang on, I got a, a tent down there, some dude nah. camping. So just further out, right out in the middle. See this road that runs through here? Oh, uh, left of that? Yeah, just yep. up there. I see it, all right. Yeah, there you go. So that's slow down to 50 something knots, 53. Yep. About there, straight and level. 16, 16 uh, inches. Yeah, we'll just say 16, that looks good. So that's your spot and your yep. 60 knots and your, your 500 feet recce. Yep, so I'll start circling it. Try to maintain height and not to let yourself descend. Yep. All right, well, I see dead tree south side. Really tall last tree is north side. Um, the ground's all dug up from people doing burnouts and stuff. Yeah. Slight slope towards the west. And uh, that's a terrible circle, isn't it? Uh, there's a little shrub there, a little tiny shrub on its own. Yeah. On the west corner. So about level with that, but in the, in the middle of the sun. So it's just like in the middle of the, the light section. Okay. Uh, the wind should be coming from our tail, but really it's negligible today, but I'll approach from the south. So that's all good? Yep. Uh, so let's go ahead and get ourselves um, set up. So keep keep a anti or clockwise circle. 
Yep. So I'll start descending. And with your wires, just one thing to mention. Yep. So we're not looking for wires. We're looking for towers. We're looking for houses, towers. Yep. So I'm 300 feet above ground level. I won't go any lower than this. And it's 60 knots is what I am for. So I'm actually so low now that I've lost visual on it. So. Yeah, so you can see how you sort of have lead-in features and things like that. Yeah, yep. Um, it was a dead tree, but there's a lot of dead trees, so... Yeah, so I'll just keep keep rolling with it, see if you can find your spot again. Well, I think that's like, my memory's telling me it's here in front of me, so if it's not, then I'll just abort. Alright. Um, oh, there's that road, so I think it's actually to the right of the road. That was my uh, one of my features. So it should have been over here, right? Oh no, it's straight in front of me. We're going crazy. <laughs> Alright, well I guess I'll abort that one and go again. Alright, so better features, it's the left side of that road. Okay, so abort, so pull on that power. Yep. Climb out. And yep. Look, see if you can find your spot. No, that's it over there. It is actually right side of the road, so it's a different clearing. There you go. Front clearing, okay, cool. So it's the right side of this road. I'm not going to use trees as an identifier because there's a lot of trees. Um, just a hint there, try not to go so far out. So we went quite a ways. Yep. So try to keep that spot in sight. Okay, so let's try that again. From this altitude, then I don't have to descend. Yep, so just stay this high here. Yep. And looking at your spot there, yep. free landing check, slides out, TSP's good. Yep. Copy still up. Yep. Should have right. put that away, yep. Looking at your spot. Yep. That's it there. So go ahead and start sliding down just a little bit, lower your collective. Yep. Slowing down, slowing down, leave that power down. Alright, as you start slowing down, anticipate the power. Yep. Bring that power in. Bring that speed back even more. Yep. There you go. Power start coming in. We're flaring up now because I used the cyclic. Yeah, a little bit there, but it's all good. So just bring your power. Yep. And then ride it in. A bit higher, don't you think? No, this looks good. This is a nice nice approach for this sort of confinement. Departures morning, Connor 762, passing 1,700, climbing 5,000. Corner 762, departures, good morning, identified, cancel speed restrictions, climb to flight level 180. I'll we'll start a steeper approach after I clear this tree. To our left, see that tall tree? Yep, just over here. Yep. It's all good. So I'm not going to start the steeper approach until I get past the dead one. And... So he tells all clear now. Yeah. And then that shrub that I was referring to is the black boy actually, to my left. Okay. Grass tree. Yeah, grass tree. Grass tree. Alright. Tower should be clear, I've, I've looked at that. Yep, so just let it come down. Yep. Watching your power there, so just very controlled. Yep. Watch your power there, let it come down, sink into that in-ground effect. Yep. There you go. So we'll just give you a bit more power back Yep, there. that's what I forgot. Yeah. Actually, yeah, that was a good example of uh, I'm at max power and I'm still sinking. Yeah. So, all right, and I'll land. Yep, go ahead and find a spot. Yep. So, so it's a little rocky, but so I'll go just here. All right, nice landing. So that was good. All right, just go neutral, neutral, everything's down. Yep. Cool. So just talking about that, so coming in was good, power check was good. Yep. Um, the recce, I think we're sort of um, overthinking it just a little bit. Yep. All right. I know it was the first one, yep. but when you start doing your reccees, it's just more of a size good, shape good. Um, when you start getting further into it, you don't really need to explain yourself so much. Mm. Yep. Okay. But for the first one, that's good, it's happy sort of see your thought process, but now you can sort of just start... Refining it. Yeah, just refine it a little bit. Try not to think about it too much. And when we do our orbits, we're looking for one, one and a half, two at most, okay? Yep. So that's what we're sort of aiming for yep. as a good goal, okay? Well, that, that bush, that grass tree that I want to land next to, I'm next to it, so... Yep, so that's good there. Everything was good. Yep. Um, setting up the approach, well, obviously the first one you can see, um, keep your spot in sight. Yep. If you're going to lose your spot, make sure you have a lead-in feature. Okay? Yep. Um, if you don't have a lead-in feature, you can see you can get disorientated quite quickly. Yep. Okay. So don't go so far out. On the second one, you can see how we just sort of went just enough, started a descent, and got our speed, power in, and we're all under control. Yep. Uh -huh. Cool. Let's go ahead and get ourselves out of here. Yep. So I'm going to depart.
Um, I'm going to aim between these two trees to our front right, but I'm not going to cut between them. I'm still going to assume I go over the top of them. Okay. But I'm just going to go through there just because it gives me a bit of error. There's nothing directly below me. That is nice. Yep, okay. So have a check. We're all good. All right. So now if I wanted to maneuver in here, I can see to my right. Let's pretend I'm in a really tight spot. I'm clear left. Yeah, clear left. Especially the tail radar. Yeah. So if I wanted to taxi left, I could go maybe left the length of the helicopter. Yep. And then if I wanted to, I can now go clear tail right, because I know that's clear. Turn yep. left. Have a look at my grass tree. Yep. And I'm going to stop there at the 90 degree, because I don't know what else is. Well, I know what's in front of me. I know that's clear. Yep. So left. We'll just get a good look at the rest of this clearing. So make sure you go that way again. Ah, uh, yep, it's a square, yeah. yep. So, yeah, so if, if it's really tight, but obviously you can see there. Yeah, well, we'll pretend it's really tight. So we'll go this way, length of the helicopter. I know my side's clear, I'm going to turn that tail into there. So now I can just see all the way around. And uh, same thing again, I'm going to left. Length of the helicopter, and then tail right up into there, and one final turn. Clear left. Yeah, all clear this way. Am I getting the length of the helicopter right? Is it too short? No, that's good. On the ground, yeah. the Jenica, the Western Coast. Uh, slow down. Three, four, four, five. Ten. Nose left, tail right. Three, four, four, and all right, max performance out of here. Yep. So let's go ahead and come down, get yourself right onto that cushion. Okay, yep. Get yourself as much power as you can. Okay. Yep. So max performance, 24 and a half. I'm gonna go straight up initially and then err forwards. See that tree to my front left? Yep. When I hit the top of that, I'm gonna start erring forwards. So okay. be straight up for now. Okay. So and I'm aiming this way. So here we go. Max power. Straight up. And, oh. Not quite making it. I'm at max power now. Alright. We're not going anywhere. So I'll just let yourself come back down. Yep. Okay, so I'm going to need a run, I think. A run up. We're going to effect back now. Should we try? So there's a little bit of movement yep. in the controls. Yep. Um, so just try and keep it still, yeah, yeah. Yeah, let's just try more just a vertical, see what we can get. Alright, cool. So we're going to burn a bit more fuel, get a bit lighter. All right, so get nice and low. Yep, so just nice and low, just come down even more. Yep. There you go, it's almost just a launch, so. Yep, so get us nice and steady. Yep, all good. And max power. Yep, so try not to ease forward there, just keep yourself coming straight up. Yep. There you go. And a little bit of forward. There's your ETL, pull that little bit extra power. Yep. Whew. There you go. That was interesting. So even then, that was sort of max performance. So you sort of ease forward just a little bit. Yep. Oh, it wasn't a steep. You wanted me to do a steep? That's no, fine. Yeah, it, yep. it, it worked. Yep. Uh -huh. That was interesting, actually. Like we, we, we could not climb. Me jiggling the cycling, going straight up, but, you know, yeah. bouncing off the ground, that was enough. Yep. Uh, All right, let's come back. Um, let's do a right-hand turn. Yep, to clear left ahead. Right. Get my altitude back. 500 feet recce, right? Yep. I'm going to recce it again. Yep, sounds I good. Think six zero zero eight. And I see my grass tree. There you are. So I'll just level out here a bit higher. Get back to 60 knots. So same same approach, right next to that grass tree is where I want to go. Yep. So I'll just slow us down and get to 60 knots, 500 feet. Still looking at my spot. And Turning right. In trim. In trim. Uh, I've got to remember which pedal. This pedal. That's why. You think I'd know that now after that 36 hours? <laughs> but I don't. I struggle with left and right when I'm driving. Yeah. Alright. Still seeing my spot. Conditions haven't changed. I'll say it again anyway. Yeah, just run through. Just a bit Surrounds. More, more refined. Surrounds and stuff. Surrounds are good. Just watch the trees. Dead trees, my uh, steep, steep descent point. Uh, grass trees on our land next to, and stuff. There's no stuff in my way, so we're all good. How do you like that? Okay. Slow down. Uh, 
Ground, start getting that rate of descent under control. Yep. Bring that power in. Forward cyclic there, power in. Yep. There you go. Rate of descent is good. Airspeed's good. Riding ETL. Yep. Just going to maintain just a shallow descent for now. And your pedal setting's good. Yep. And I see that dead tree. Send any sharper until I see the dead tree. And yeah, we'll go carb heat in this time. Oh, yeah. I gotta get that third time lucky. Yeah. Alright, there's my dead tree. I'll wait till I hit him before I descend any faster than this. And I've hit him. Descend a bit faster. Not too fast. I know that we don't have enough power to add a ground effect over. Yep, so that's all good. Feels good. Just go all the way to the ground. Yep. lighter this time, burn a bit of fuel. There's my skids in front of me, that's where I was. Check. We're good to go. Yep, my skid's good. Alright, and power down. Unless you want to go again. Yeah, let's just go ahead and go. So that was, um, that's good. Let's have Got a run that car. Yeah. Next to my bush that I want to be. Yep. Alright. Alright. Alright, good. Have a check. What is your Boards. Okay, so let's just say we're taking off. Yep. Oh, okay. If, um, like, say, a skid gets caught in the ground or whatever, I'm just going to lower the collective back into the ground. Okay, yeah, so dynamic rollover, so you start to feel that coming. Uh, where is our abort on this takeoff or this departure? Well, like you said, I should go straight up because then, if I, like, before we had to abort and come back down, we didn't have enough power. So that was, you could go straight back down on the same spot, whereas if I had started moving forwards and found that out the hard way, I would have been in the trees over there. Yeah, okay. So, um, so let's just say you're going to do a max performance. Yep. This here would be um, halfway distance, okay? So halfway between us and those trees yep. is your abort point. Okay. If you get that far yep. and you realise, okay, red of climb's no good or max power it's not happening yep you have enough room to keep a little bit of forward speed to get yourself back to the ground okay all right, all right. So let's, let's go ahead and now uh, let's just get us out of here we'll so, get a bit lower yeah so let's just you choose whatever sort of departure you want yep a bit lower feel that cushion literally feel it it's pretty cool and here we go Forward speed. Calicula Foxtrot identified. Do you wish to check via Cotter Slow or proceed direct to the city? Via Cotter Slow, thank you. Oh, there's an ETL. Get on top of that. There's a Cessna 210 behind overtaking on the left. Contact approach, one, two, three. Good. A little bit of pedal movement there. Yeah, yep. Um, which, uh, it's not much, but it will will affect you. So, just, yeah, yep. Just be careful with that. Okay. Well, let's go find another spot. Okay. Should we do a confine down in there? Sure. So clear left, head right, turning right. Yep. So where are we, where are we going? I'm sort of picking on you a little bit here. Okay, you want me to... What about down in that... Um, with the mud? Yeah, spot down there. Okay, so land next to the puddle? Yeah. So approach, I'm going to come in from the... So let's get set up this recce first actually. So I'll slow down. So same direction facing that way because it just happens to be that the valley faces that way anyway. Yep. So I'll follow the valley in. So slow down 60 knots and start my right turn. Alright, so area looks clear. Surface is a little muddy, you've got to watch out for the mud, but otherwise I've got an even longer approach from the same direction as before. Uh, I'm going to land just before that puddle. Maybe 10 metres away from it because it might be really wet and shitty. Um, so I'm looking at it now, it's a very fucking steep approach, we're following the hill down pretty much. Uh, and I'll do the, there's a tree that marks the edge of the, the mud, that's where I'll do my, my final steep angle. 
Yeah. Uh, but otherwise, shadow, rocks, livestock, no wires, nothing. So looks clear enough to me. Looks bigger than the last one even, so. Do you see the um the puddle? Yep. Add the length of the puddle again to the south, and that's where I'll land in the dry spot. Okay, sounds good. Cool. So I'm gonna start descending, but see we've got hills around us. So I just gotta sort of time it so that when I get to the uh, downwind portion I'm actually ready to go down that valley. So thinking of like winds and I mean we don't really have mountains here but yeah. um, what the wind's doing, so this is obviously going to be the upward, upwind side. Yep. That'll be the downwind side. So keeping yourself on this side of the valley. Yep. So uh, go ahead and turn yourself in. Get that descent happening. It's incredibly steep. Like yeah. pretty much vertical landing. So just um, just keep riding this. So we know the valley's going to lead us into our spot, right? Yep. So just keep flying this side. Oh, uh, this side? Yeah, just keep flying. Keep that speed up. Yep. Keep those... Um, 50, 60 knots? Yep. Okay. Just stay this side of the valley? Yep. Oh, okay, circle the second time, you reckon? Yeah, we'll just sort of ride it down. You don't need to come in nice and straight perfect, okay? You yeah, can yep. just ride this valley in. So see this bump, I've got to get over this bump, so I've got to at least no, be that height. Just keep turning. Oh, really? Keep turning. Yep. Start the descent. Turn, 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 turn. Yep. Slow yourself down. Slow yourself down. Yep. Now go this way. Slowing yourself down. You still got speed. Yep. Right. Now start bringing yourself back. Keep your speed on. Power on. Forward cyclic. Yep. Power on. Forward cyclic. There you go. Okay. Now, just sort of let yourself come down through this gap here. Yep. I will turn left in a minute. And there's your spot. Yep. So just let yourself come straight down into there. And then skid straight forward there. Yeah, I just want to avoid that tree. There you go. Coming up on max power. So I'm not going to start my steep until I get there. Oh, I forgot the bloody carby again. Carby, it's going down. Keeps happening. There you go. Alright, so I've cleared the tree. I'm going to start my steep descent now. Yep, bringing yourself down. This is where the rally cars come out of the corner. Yeah. And I am right where I wanted to be. Cool, and then we'll just go to land. Yep. A little muddy, but it's drier than if I'd landed over there. Yeah. So I'll go right here. Looks good. No slope this time, or not as much of a slope. Oh shit, this bird's coming at us. Ah, uh, you're all good. Oh. Actually, that was more of a slope than I was expecting. All right, so we're there. All right, so you can see there, that was sort of just a bit of a non-standard. Yep. But use the valley to help you, okay? Yeah, yeah. so um, if, if you had said land there the way you thought you would have done it, that's probably what I would have done. Okay. But I'm trying to follow like the textbook, which is you go around in a circle and land yeah. it, yeah. So what you do, you do sort of a high recce. Yep. That's where you're going to go through your p -swap. And then, as you come down, you're obviously going through another wreck as you come in, all right? Yep. With the valleys, you got to be careful power lines, okay? Yep. Going from ridge to ridge. Yep. Uh, very important. You're definitely looking for poles on ridge lines. Yep. Um, and coming down, also assessing the winds again. Mm. Make sure that you've judged it correctly. Yep. Okay. Well, it'd be nice so, down here in this bloody valley, basically. Yeah, it'd be pretty. It'd just be coming down through here. Yep. Um, other thing, too, is, like you said, you wouldn't do a 500 foot recce above the ridge line and then come straight down into it. Yep. You drop down into the valley, you know, do your approach as we did, and then to your spot. Yep. Otherwise it's just gonna end up way too steep, way too high. Yep. Alright. Happy with that? Yep. How are we gonna get out of here? Alright, so straight out, um Probably because I know the valley curves around, I'm going to end up going out, follow, basically following the valley. Okay. So, uh, but I want to clear these trees so it's vertical until I'm about their height and then continue onwards over a okay, second cool. angle over the top of them. So, so throttle back up. Alright, cool. Max performance tag off. Here we go. Down this valley. We'll get down into this air cushion. And we're still at like bloody 22 inches just hovering here. Yeah, a little bit higher there. That's all good. Alright. Should be able to get it. Alright, so max power. Uh, build up a speed. I'm gonna abort if we don't start climbing anytime soon. I'm gonna abort that one. Yeah. 
So I ride it to the ground. All right. Nothing, is there? What's that? There's nothing in this valley. Yep. So oh, go ahead and turn around. So Just I'm going to move left, of... clear left. Yeah. So turn up there. I'm going to do 360s because I know we're clear here. Just watch these shrubs. All right. Not 360, 180 turn. I'll head back at the way we came. Let's just go and transition this way. Yep. Transition. Oh, as in fly? Yep, just a normal takeoff. Yep. yep. There you go, pulling a bit of power. And we'll just sort of go out the way we come. Yep. And we'll use this um, sort of valley if there's any sort of wind. Yep. Just sort of come, just keep coming out this way. Yeah. Should I follow it to the right? Uh, just hold on to this side of it. Yep. And then once we get closer, make the turn to the right. Yep. All right, follow this valley down. Yep, pull in some power. We'll get up over the ridge line. Yep. Uh, 24 and a half. All right, follow it to the left. Yeah, we'll come left and um, we'll come back towards up on top of the ridge here. Yeah, yep. Um, and we'll find another spot. We'll do one more and then we'll head back. Sure. 9,000. Um, yep, so we got that clear. Yep. Let's um. Let's shoot an approach into that one. Which one? The one directly below me? Yeah, just down there. So that, that gravel, yep. Yep. Alright, so that one's a bit of an odd shape now. Clear to the start of run. I almost want to go from east to west because it's longitudinal in that direction. And the sun will be to my rear. Okay. Uh, there's basically no wind, so I'm not losing that anyway. Yep. So I'm going to just turn us around and get us, have a better look at it. Um, I'll probably be landing nose downhill though. Okay, so we've just got to be really careful with our tail rider, so we don't want to put the tail into the heel. Yep. Yeah, yeah, that's a good point. Okay. So come in from a high hover and then come straight down on it. I might one up in the hover, then turn around and land nose uphill. Okay. As opposed to landing tail uphill. I'll start my turn. I'll start slowing down. It's a really sharp turn, I think. That speed there. There you go. Yep. Still above ETL. I'll get. Actually, the vertical rate's not too bad. I'll slow down. So I'm not going to start there. I'll just keep this. Keep this rate of descent for now. It's kind of like shooting a normal approach. I'm sort of going straight at it, and I'll go steeper once I go past those trees. Okay. Cambridge County got caught up 623. So just a double angle, I'll go carb heat. Carb heat going away, I remember yeah. that, yep. All right. <laughs> we'll count that also remembered. You got that? Yep. Uh, so, just about to clear those trees. Just got a global triple eight golf x ray. We're tracking the C of the SID. Passing. Uh, and uh, now I've cleared him straight down. Remember, triple eight golf x ray, first departures. Good morning, identified time by SID to flight level 180. Now we're in here, we can sort of really see what's going on. So we are, there's a bit of a slope, so that's good. Yep. So I'm going to turn nose up, so clear, tail right. Actually, I'm going to do that square thing. Clear left, move yep. left. All clear left here. Moving left. And I'm going to go about there. Tail's clear to the right, turning left. I know it's clear to straight ahead as well, I was just looking there. All right, so I'll come down, nose uphill. Yeah. Uh, best spot's probably actually left a bit, so we're clear left. Moving left. I'll go just here, into the sun, look at that. Perfect. This is quite a slope. Yeah, a little bit of a nose up hill. So when we do the P-swap, still make sure you're going through, you know, we've obviously, power is done, S, so still run through your acronym. Yep. Okay? S, okay, size group, that's all good. Yep. Winds, approach, terminate, okay? Yep. So just neutral, neutral. Yeah, that's, that's why that's cool. shaking, yep. Yeah, so still run through and just voice where you're at in it. Yep. Uh, and then at least we know that you're going through it. Um, yep. I, I know you are, but yep. yeah, just for the procedure of it. 
and that will really cement it in for you. Yep. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and take off, and uh, we'll head back to Genicop. All right, so I'm up. I'm gonna take off back out the same direction we're facing, so I'm gonna turn. Okay. So let me do a hill nose into the hill takeoff though. So go forward cyclic, level with horizon. I actually want you. Yeah. What you're gonna do is fine, but yep. I actually want you to see if you can go out this way. Okay. Oh, not enough forward cycling. Started sliding down the hill. Yeah, a little bit of a slide. That's alright. So, alright, well, I guess I'll go out this way. All good. So, I've got these trees above us to the left, and I actually can't see too well to the right, so have a look. Nice and clear out that way, so I'm just going to err over here a bit. And I'm nowhere near that tree above us. Yeah, that's alright. And I want to follow this road pretty much straight off my nose. So, I'll get down, hover check. We're all good. Alright, so let's go a bit lower. Yeah, there, I'm gonna lower my wrist. Alright, now max performance is just straight up and then forwards. There he goes. A bullet point is like into the shadow. Yeah. Maybe actually edge of the shadow, we'll go straight up. So straight up. And forwards. There you go, hold it, you'll get it. Yep. There you go. We you just about almost ran out of power, like we almost stopped our vertical climb. Do yeah. you feel that? Use that additional power you've got. Yep. Oh yeah, yep. Always maintain max power. Yeah, always keep that power coming in. Yep. Yeah, you can feel it, you just sort of got uh, dead. And we probably, because that's when I started leaning forwards, I probably should have leaned forwards while I still had a bit of upwards velocity. Uh, a bit sooner than that. Yeah, what you did was fine, yeah. Yep. You don't want to go too much forward because then it sort of launches you straight into and the then, trees. And yeah. then I'd yeah, run out of uh, a board point. Yeah. So you clear right, head and left, turning left. Alright, so now I've got to approach that forest tail right in front of us, isn't it? That's correct. So I'm going to go left of that, 6 south will be maybe over here somewhere. Jamie Lott Tower, helicopter, Juliet Victor Whiskey, R22, 6 South, uh, for an approach to the Northern Apron, uh, dual received at Alpha. The Juliet Victor Whiskey, Juliet Tower, maintain 1,500. Maintain 1,500, Juliet Victor Whiskey. Juliet Victor Whiskey, clear for approach, join downwind for the Northern Apron. Join downwind uh, for the Northern Apron, uh, cleared for approach, Juliet Victor Whiskey. I gotta go, uh, I'll probably aim not on the concrete, but on the taxiway, right? So yeah. out here, and then I'll taxi in. Yep. Because so there's a helicopter there. Shoot an approach to a spot. Yeah, so right in front of the R44, just uh, just, just, just north of it, yeah. Just past him. Yep, yep. that's where I'm aiming. Um, I, I feel like I'm going way too slow, but anyway, for the height that I'm at. Yeah, looks like he's going to get ready to start up, so we'll just land sort of a far away from him. Oh, just maybe we're up about where we took off from. Yep. Alright, so I'm just uh, I'm where I wanted to be. And I'll curve her in. Is that too close to him? No, you're good. Okay, good. Okay, I'll go up to the manhole covers. There's a little line over here, actually. I'll go over to that line. Uh, Jenica Tower, X-ray Quebec, Quebec, ready runway 06 left, put the pass to fire left wing. X-ray Quebec, Quebec, Tower, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff. Cool, bit of sideways movement there. It's all good. Okay, and throttle down.